Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys my November TBR and my Emojiathon TBR. The holiday Emojiathon? The mini emoji? It's a readathon. Great. Now let's get into it and I'm bringing it to you guys today as a shadow hunter because I'm filming this on Halloween and this is what I went to school as so we're going with it. I have my makeup done so if it's a little off because I've worn it all day but let's jump into the books this is very ambitious and I probably won't get to all of these but we shall try starting off with how my TBR kind of went last month like it went not bad like if I read like two books off my TBR I'm like yes so some books that I didn't get to last month I really wanted to so I'm dragging them over to this month so I won't talk too much about them but first up I have Helter Skelter which we're gonna have to do an assignment in law on like a criminal case so I think I might use my resources and uh do it about the Charles Manson so we'll see about that but I do want to read Helter Skelter Sleeping Beauties which I know everyone's asking me to review so hopefully I can do that soon and then I also have The Child Finder, which will probably be my first read of November because I am halfway through it. So this is a current read, so it should be done soon. But yeah, those were passed along. Um, also, for a current read, I'm also reading The Drawing of Three by Stephen King. I'm listening to the audiobook of it. Um, so, so far I'm liking it. So far, it's pretty solid. It's interesting. I actually like it so far. Like, not that I'm not surprised, but I don't know, The Gunslinger was okay. So I'm glad it's already stepping up its game a little. It's a little bit different, a little bit of different vibe at the beginning. So we'll see how it goes. And also for the emoji song, basically it runs from November 23rd to November 30th, if you're wondering. And it um, is hosted by Julie, Dylan, Chelsea, and Brittany. Yes. Who are all lovely people. So... I will have everything linked down below, including the challenges. There's like a Google form for the challenges. There's so many of them. You can just pick and choose and the goal is just to complete as many as possible. So basically what I'm doing is any books that I don't get to before the readathon, then I will put those on my TBR and I can fit them into the challenges because the challenges are really easy to fit stuff into. Like one of them's like, like a special, like a wild card kind of thing. So choose whatever. Um, one of them's like a listen to an audiobook. Like you can really fit in the challenges. So. Yes, so I'm excited. And yeah, the drawing of three, pretty solid. Um, I also like read like one page of <laughs> Into the Wild by John Krakauer, which this is nonfiction. And it's also a nonfiction, it's also nonfiction November. So this is fun. I can count this, I think. <laughs> But um, I got this as an ebook on my Kobo, so I'm hoping to read this. It's short. This should be fine. Um, along with that, oh, another another book from my TBR last month that I didn't get to was Without Merit by Colleen Hoover, which I know this book is getting very weird reviews. It's getting called homophobic, and I don't know because I haven't really looked into it. So I don't know. I heard it has bad rep but I don't know. I also heard it deals with anxiety and I don't know. We're, we're gonna read it and see because I mean I own it so I'm gonna read it. Um, I'm gonna read it because I've read her other stuff and I have liked her other stuff so we'll see. Um, I've also heard five star reviews but I've also seen one star reviews so we'll see. Um, along with that I have a review copy so I have Entwined by Kira Beatrice. This is a poetry collection so this is like 20 minute read for sure even faster probably i'm excited to get to this this was sent to me for review so hopefully i'll read that and talk about it with you guys count volume one which this is a series my friend really loves um basically it's a male male romance series and it's supposed to be really steamy and it literally says explicit content on it and it's wrapped so that you can't peek through it in the store because it's that explicit which i heard the first volume isn't that sexual, it's just angsty, so I don't know, we'll see. But I'm all for male male romances, so I'm there. And my friend loves it, so we'll see. And <laughs> this is so ambitious, please don't expect me to get to all of these. Like, this is just me hoping. That was my stomach, okay. I also have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this one. I really want to, I've literally been eyeing it since it arrived at my door, because <laughs> I finally bit the bullet and bought it because I just feel like I would love it but we'll see um, everyone's read this everyone loves this so we'll see um, I would like to read it 
and it also deals with social anxiety. Um, it's about a girl who writes fan fiction. I think you know the general story. And since I'm a huge contemporary lover, I'm surprised I haven't read Fangirl yet. So we'll see. And then two books that I'm hoping to read and review and see the films are um, Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, which I'm super excited for. Um, I've, I loved And Then There Were None, so I really want to see what else she's going to bring to the table. And I just heard of, I think it's about someone who gets killed on like the Orient Express. And then um, they go through everyone's story of the other people on it and they try to figure out who killed the person which is fun or they get killed up no i don't know okay <laughs> something like that then i also have wonder by rj palacio which is coming out as a movie as well um it's a middle grade book about a guy who has a facial deformity so i want to read it and watch the movie and stuff and i've heard great things and i heard it's a great middle grade read a lot of you guys suggested this from my middle grades recommendation video a lot of you guys said i should check this one out so i'm really excited about that so that is my massive tbr We'll see if I get to any of it. I'm honestly not the greatest at sticking to these, but I'm very excited for this month and what it's gonna have to offer book-wise, personal-wise, the whole shebang. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all this sort of stuff. See you all very soon with a new video. Bye.